Okay, this is a quick review of the Byron Statics cassette player recorder and USB MP3 converter. So that's a lot of functionalities in one little package and it does everything but does some things it does better than others. It does not come with a USB stick. I'm supplying this. It does not come with a USB cable. It uses a micro USB cable. You can also run it off of batteries. It does come with a little set of headphones that you can use to monitor the recording or listen to music if you're just playing the cassette or the USB back. And that's about all it comes with in this other than this. If you don't have the headphones in, you'll hear the sound out of this little speaker in the front. And it also has a built-in microphone if you want to record your voice or something else. This top is also where you see the little indicator between tape and USB which controls where, what sound is going to come out. These controls are all for the tape player. The controls here are all for the USB stick. There are some very brief instructions in the instruction manual with this, but you may have to play with it a while to get it all figured out. So what I'm going to discuss right now is the functionality that I'm going to use, which is trying to record old cassettes onto a USB stick. Now the first thing I have to tell you is that even though it's an MP3 converter, it's not. It records all of these files as WAV files. That's an uncompressed format, which is better quality, but if you have, if you're planning on playing these on something that doesn't support WAV, then you're going to need to convert them to MP3 in a separate step. So to get this cassette in, we open the front. Now here comes the first criticism. It did come with some little carrier tabs up in the top here to insert the cassette into, and then you would collapse it. Unfortunately, the first time I did that, one of the little tabs snapped right off, and soon after, the second little tab also snapped off. Not real quality, be very careful when you're doing this, but it turned out I don't really need it that much. You can insert the cassette, just make sure that it's fully placed there. Close it up and you're ready to rock and roll. Now to actually record, I'm going to start playing the tape first because I have it on the leader. And then you press this little button here, and you'll see the little red light flashes on the USB. That tells you that it is recording. At the end of the tape, it will automatically shut off. That's a nice feature. It'll shut the USB off as well. If you want to stop it before then, you have to touch the same button again. And sometimes it takes me a couple tries to get that actually off. And then it will automatically save the file you can then rename it, move it to your computer, do whatever you need to do with it. Um, so that is all I'm going to talk about on this. As I said, I've listened to the playback. It is okay, but you have to remember I'm recording from cassettes that were recorded from records. And so, yeah, quality's not good anyhow, but it's good enough. That's the Byron Statics cassette player recorder converter.